Welcome to Core Updates Hub. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The headlines hit like a shockwave. China uncovers an 80 trillion mineral treasure. Deep in Guangdong's misty mountains, geologists searching for rare earths stumbled upon something far more valuable. The find? Rubidium. An element so rare, its global reserves were previously measured in mere thousands of tons. Initial lab results were off the charts, confirming a deposit of over 180,000 tons. This wasn't just a discovery. It was a seismic shift in global resources. At current prices, the deposit is worth trillions of US dollars, but its true value is strategic. Rubidium is essential for satellite navigation, advanced military tech, and next-gen energy. The news sent shockwaves through global markets and defense circles. Suddenly, China held the key to a resource underpinning the world's most advanced systems. Beijing managed the announcement with calm confidence, amplifying global unease. While Western analysts scrambled to verify, China moved fast, dispatching teams, securing the site, and planning extraction. This was more than mining. It was a calculated geopolitical move. For decades, China imported raw materials to fuel its growth. Now, with this single discovery, it was poised to become the world's indispensable supplier of a critical element. The ground had shifted, and the rules of the game were about to change. The world woke up to a new reality, quietly unearthed in southern China. The financial figures were staggering, but the strategic implications were even greater. China's control over rubidium would redefine global power dynamics. The discovery dwarfed all previous reserves, making China the gatekeeper of the future. The world's technological and economic future now hinged on a single remote site in Guangdong. The era of rubidium had begun, and China was in command. The global balance of power would never be the same. What is rubidium? Most have never heard of it, but in high-tech circles, it's royalty. A soft, silvery alkali metal, rubidium is so reactive it ignites in air, yet it's this instability that makes it invaluable. Its atomic structure is perfect for extreme precision, making it rarer than gold and more vital than lithium. Rubidium powers atomic clocks, the heartbeat of GPS, financial networks, and energy grids. Without it, modern navigation and communication would collapse. Its precision is crucial for military tech, missile guidance, and space exploration. In medicine, it's used in PT scans to detect tumors and study brain activity. Rubidium is rarely found in pure deposits, usually appearing as a trace in other minerals. Extraction is complex and costly, keeping global supply low and prices high. Before Guangdong, the world produced only a few tons a year, barely enough for tech and defense needs. China's discovery of 180,000 tons has turned anxiety into crisis for its rivals. Control rubidium, and you control the future of technology and security. The stakes have never been higher. Huazhou, once known for fruit orchards, is now the epicenter of a global power shift. Beneath its hills lay a geological jackpot, 180,000 tons of rubidium. This single deposit eclipses all previous global reserves combined. China now holds a near monopoly on a resource critical to the world's future. The discovery flips China's narrative from resource-dependent to global gatekeeper. Tech giants from Silicon Valley to Berlin must now look to Huazhou for supply. Beijing sets the price, availability, and terms, wielding unprecedented leverage. China can prioritize its own industries and use rubidium as a diplomatic tool. Huazhou, by a twist of fate, has become a new center of gravity in the world economy. The city's quiet days are over. It now stands at the heart of global technological progress. The world's eyes are on Huazhou. Rubidium's unique properties make it a strategic asset. Its most famous use is in atomic clocks, the backbone of GPS and global communications. Without rubidium, navigation, telecom, and data networks would falter. 
Military systems rely on its precision for radar, secure communications, and missile guidance. Rubidium vapor powers magnetometers and night vision tech, giving militaries an edge. In medicine, it's used in PET scans for heart and brain diagnostics. Quantum computing and next-gen batteries are exploring rubidium's potential. A disruption in supply would ripple across industries, from tech to defense to healthcare. The Huazhou discovery isn't just a pile of metal, it's the key to the next wave of innovation. Control over rubidium means control over the future. The stakes are global and the implications profound. Rubidium's story has always been one of scarcity. Though more common in the Earth's crust than copper, it rarely forms its own minerals. Extraction is difficult and expensive, as it's usually a byproduct of lithium or cesium mining. Before Huazhou, global production was just two to four tons a year, sourced from a handful of mines. The supply barely met demand, making the market fragile and prices volatile. The rollout of 5G, satellite networks, and electric vehicles was set to increase demand exponentially. Analysts warned of a looming rubidium crunch until China's discovery changed everything. Now, instead of global scarcity, the world faces a near-total Chinese monopoly. China can set prices, control supply, and use rubidium as a tool of economic power. The scramble is no longer for a scarce resource, but for access to China's supply. China's response was swift and strategic. It secured the site, prioritized green extraction, and began building a full domestic supply chain. State-of-the-art refineries and processing plants are rising in Guangdong. China aims for vertical integration, controlling everything from ore to finished products. Plans for national rubidium recycling are underway, ensuring long-term dominance. This closed-loop system guarantees perpetual access and technological leadership. China isn't just a supplier, it's setting the global standard. The world is witnessing a masterclass in resource strategy. For the US, the Huazhou News exposed a critical vulnerability. America's tech and defense sectors rely on imported rubidium, often from China. The U.S. is import-dependent for dozens of critical minerals, with China as the main supplier. Efforts to build domestic supply chains are slow and costly. The economics favor imports, leaving the U.S. in a strategic bind. With China's new monopoly, alternative supply chains are no longer viable. The U.S. faces a stark dilemma. Its technological future is now in China's hands. The stakes for national security and innovation have never been higher. The Huazhou discovery is a defining move in the new great game. Today, power is measured by control of critical resources like rubidium. China's long-term strategy, securing minerals and building processing capacity, has paid off. With rubidium, China can reward allies and pressure rivals, bypassing traditional diplomacy. This shift could fragment the world into competing tech blocks, each guarding its own supply chains. Resource wars may be fought with trade restrictions, not armies. The US and its allies must choose, compete for inferior sources, or seek stable access through cooperation. China, too, faces a choice dominate or foster global collaboration. The future of global stability hangs in the balance. The world's next chapter will be written by how nations respond to this new reality. The stakes are nothing less than the shape of the 21st century. We stand at a crossroads. The Huazhou discovery is more than geology. It's a symbol of shifting global power. Will this treasure fuel rivalry and resource wars or inspire cooperation? Protectionism and export bans could fracture supply chains and stifle innovation. Or, nations could build new frameworks for fair access, sustainable extraction, and joint research. The real value lies not in the ground, but in how we choose to use it. The responsibility falls on all major powers to shape a stable, prosperous future. The choices made now will determine if this gift is a blessing or a curse. The world is watching.